make peace, not war. God's word says, blessed are the peacemakers, but they shall be called the children of God. Amen. I want to speak to those of you who are married and in your kingdom marriages. The Lord is saying for you to make peace, not war. Whatever the enemy has thrown at you or to try to bring discord and disunity and arguments and quarreling and railing and, and all sorts. Sarah's in the background, you all. Sorry. Listen, the Lord is saying for you, make peace, not war. You're not worrying against each other. You're worrying against the enemy. The enemy is the enemy. Okay? The enemy is the enemy. Okay? Your spouse is not the enemy. And those of you who are waiting to go into your kingdom marriage as well, you need to be encouraged. Okay? These things are very important to know. Don't go ahead to attack your spouse because the enemy is the one that is attacking your marriage. He doesn't want your marriage to see the lights of day. Okay, and your kingdom marriage is a threat to the enemy. So remain encouraged and continue to make peace. You want to say something? You want to say something? Yeah, you want to help me finish the sermon? I mean, it's only about two minutes, but you can add something. What do you want to say, girl? So please make peace and not war in your marriage. Women, kingdom wives, make sure that your homes are peaceful homes. Amen. Make sure your home is peaceful. Peace and love. So important for you to make those two ingredients ever present in your marriages. And women, you are responsible to make your home peaceful. Even if it, it looks like your husband is trying to bring war your way. You have the power within you to make your home peaceful. So that that war will never ever arise. We bless you all. I bless your marriages in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Take care.